Convenient transit payments using Visa with Apple Pay could cost more than you expect. Hey, Mac, I hear there's a new uh, issue with the Apple Pay Visa uh, hack to make payments via a locked iPhone. What can you tell us about that? The Apple Pay with Visa credit cards, and actually Apple Pay, you know, you can do this with any, uh, any multiple kinds of credit cards, um, but you can enable uh, a card in your wallet for express transit mode. And what this allows you to do is conduct payments without actually unlocking the device. And so this is pretty handy, and it's used all over the world in major metropolitan cities. So the attack is done in a pretty novel way. So it's actually intercepting and then replaying and relaying the attack to a, a, a payment station. So they make basically the, the portable payment station that they can then intercept uh, a transaction on, and then they can modify some of the elements of that transaction message before replaying it onto uh, another non-transit um, pay, pay station. Um, so it gets it away from certified transit stations, which are able to use this limited amount to ones that you might see in a regular store. And this opens up, you know, two opportunities for attack. The first is a simple bump attack where you can wander around the subway and just brush up against people with a device and possibly get transactions to read through clothing, through purses, through wallets, uh, without anybody even knowing that they're conducting a transaction. Um, the second, obviously, is you know interception of a stolen phone to then execute transactions without a PIN. Now, what's interesting about this is that they've actually documented the proof of concept. They have the video of the proof of concept. They show how it works. And they reached out to Apple and Visa and said, hey, uh, this is a problem. And while they have acknowledged that it's an issue, Visa's like, well, we don't really think that that can happen at scale, so we don't think it's really that big of a risk. And Apple is saying, well, we think this is really a Visa payment issue and not really an Apple Pay issue. But it's funny that issues with the two platforms combined are what allow this to happen because Visa cards on other payment wallets don't exhibit this habit. And MasterCard and other cards inside of Apple Pay alone don't exhibit this kind of activity. It's the unique combination of Apple Pay with Visa when used for express transit uh, that, that results in this exposure. And so this is something that is really interesting to me because these types of, of novel attacks, um, I think, are you know, things that really can take off. And because they are uh, low enough occurrence rate potentially, like, you know, again, Visa is not really thinking they're going to rise to millions of cards breached or billions of dollars. You know, they're like, oh, well, you know, maybe we're not going to address that. But, you know, and of course, they're saying, well, you know, they have 100% coverage for users that do experience fraud. Um, so it's interesting that convenience versus security conversation and how that plays out uh, in a platform like this. And then how about other cards being affected? I think you mentioned it was Visa, but did it say anywhere that there may be a like MasterCard or uh, Discover, any other uh, credit cards that would be impacted by this? According to the research report that uh, was published, it, this is a unique combination of Visa and Apple Pay uh, that led the result in this exposure. Gotcha. So, huh? Yeah. And I guess, but then, you know, kind of trying to iron it out, that kind of, yeah. I guess we're going to see whoever wins, you know, because that kind of leads to, you know, I guess, there's, as you say, no fix or patch. So until they agree to that, you know, and that always, you know, kind of strikes you odd. I mean, I know, you know, sometimes, it, uh, like they say, it, you know, it's not going to be large scale, but it's just that couple, one or two. And if they start passing that around and getting a few people on board to do the same thing, then it can expand. That's why I don't know. I don't always necessarily, you know, think that necessarily the way to look at it, per se, is, you know, you know, a small scale because small can then turn into large, as you well know, you know. Oh yeah, absolutely. It certainly can, um, yeah. and and there is a mitigating factor for this at this time. So, like users can protect themselves by simply 
not using Visa as the transport card in Apple Pay. If you've got another credit okay. card and you want to have Express Transit enabled or the Express Transport card enabled, just use a different card. Alternatively, um, don't use the Express Travel Card um, feature of it at all, and that can be disabled in Settings, okay. Wallet, and Apple Pay, Express Travel Card, and you can disable that on your device if you don't need to use it. Right, and I'm sure after this exposure, it'll probably, I'm sure they probably have fixes in the works. They're just kind of, you know, waiting to see how it plays out. But now after, you know, and that's how a lot of goes, right? Exposure draws out, you know, extra. So, yeah. Um, you know, I think you mentioned it was like, uh, this was also like a relay attack. So I guess that could mean that that card machine doesn't have to be present. Could they relay it off to a remote card machine and uh, to process that? Because, you know, if it's a relay, it sounds like that would be a possibility. It is. They can actually relay the transaction to any uh, payment station that they want, provided that it's attached to the Internet. So, so. It, you can actually take them um, w well out of region, right? You could intercept cards in, in one region and then, like, run the transaction in another. But that's one of the things that is looked for from a fraud perspective, right? It's like, right. hey, they use, this, they use this credit card in these two different geographies at yep. the same time, and that's a problem. And while Visa has said, well, you know, we rely on our fraud uh, mitigation systems to identify these types of attacks, the researchers were quick to point out that it didn't stop them. Yeah, right. So, yeah, so that, yeah, I was kind of wondering about that. That's kind of that, that question is because, you know, they could have done something, you know, to modify that particular request to make it look valid, um, you know, that express transaction, say, okay, it is valid. And whether it's coming from a geo, you know, another location or not, could it be possibly done, as you mentioned? So, yeah, this is definitely an interesting piece and, you know, a new way of doing that. So, yeah, very good article.